All right, so Alex has $11, and they are going to go to Thunder Valley. He wants to buy a pizza, and he wants to play arcade games. But each game costs $1.25, and he wants to know how many games he can play. So I know that they've got a total of $11. So I'm going to write equals 11. You can't go over that. And we know we're buying a pizza, which is $7.25. So I'm going to put this here. And we know we're also spending money on games. So we're going to add that $1.25, except there's a problem. He wants to know how many games he can play. So that $1.25, we have to figure out how many games we have to multiply by that $1.25 to figure out the total cost. All right, so we've got an equation, so now let's solve it. The first thing we get rid of is this number over here all by itself. So we're gonna subtract 7.25 from each side. So I'm gonna subtract 7.25 from this side too. Okay, all right, we're gonna draw a line. So we've got $1.25, X. All right, sorry that my, my, my writing's so messy. And I'm gonna use my calculator to figure out what 11 minus 725 is. That gives me $3.75, okay? But I still have to get rid of that $1.25 in front of that X, because we wanna get that X alone. So that means I need to divide by $1.25 on each side. So let me come over here and I got $1.25 on each side. So let me put that in my calculator and see what that gives me. So I've got $3.75 divided by 1.25 and that gives me three. So I get X equals three. That's my solution. But I want to make sure that I am right. So I'm going to put in the equation that we wrote, 7.25 plus 1.25 X. Then I'm going to put in my solution, X equals three. And that gives me 11, which is what I started with here. So we know that we did that right. Okay. So let's see if we can do this on the test. I believe in you.